Uh, it's really nice to be here. And, and uh, I listened to Annette, and, uh, and I was patient with her because I largely agreed with what she told me. And I saw in her, and I've always seen in her, a really enlightened practitioner, somebody that coming from a different uh, a point, to, uh, a different, with a very different history on a parallel path, developed a very a common, strongly overlapping perspective about how to approach helping people be better and stronger. And I want to start by saying a little bit about my book, because for those of you who don't know about it or are in the, in the audience and haven't read it or, or, or don't know what it's about, I want to try to get you to, uh, to, to, to uh, buy it. It's not very expensive. It's not about making money. It's not about that at all. It's about helping you have a better, older life. And that's why I wrote the book. I wrote the book because I began to understand quite a few years ago as a scientist that we have a brain that's plastic and I began to understand myself what that meant. It meant that our brain is continu continuously changing by what we do. And what we do really matters, because what we do represents the basis of the creation of the person we are. And because the brain is plastic, we're subject to continuous revision. Now that revision can be in a positive direction, you can move in a positive direction, and that's what my book is about. It's trying to explain to you how to think about what you should be doing to move your brain in a positive direction, and who the hell wouldn't want to do that, really? Because we're all capable, at any point of life, of being better next week, of being better next year. That's also what Annette's uh, practices are all about. It's about being better next week. It's about being better next year. And we have this power in us because we're actually constructed <coughs> to create the person we are within our lifetimes, within our skulls. So in my book, you have to go through a certain level of science, of explanation, because I am a nerd, okay? But don't, don't let that intimidate you. You should know these things. Everyone should know these things. People should understand that they've been given this great gift, that they have the gift to change themselves, to transform themselves even. And one of the wonderful things about plasticity is, is it doesn't pay too much attention to where you've been. It doesn't pay too much attention to the struggles that you've had in life. It's still there with you as a resource. It's still with, the, with you to, to make your life better. And, and it, can, it can be the basis of miracles in a life. It can be. So anyway, uh, read the book, and, and if you want to gain a little bit more about this perspective. Every one of you in this room have the capacity to transform yourself. In fact, multiple times in your life, and probably most of you ought to do it a time or two or ten in your life, because that's what your brain is looking for. Your brain is looking for action. It's all about having a better life at any point in life. It's all about looking forward in life and saying, how can I be stronger, more complete, more interesting, more vital? If you do the right things with your brain in life, you'll have a better life. You'll have a longer life. And you're sure as hell will have a safer life. And what you really want to have is a brain that not, doesn't just hang in there until you pass from this mortal coil, which for most individuals, most individuals among us, it just does not do. Most of our compatriots out there die with a diagnosis of senility, right? But it's also about passing from this mortal coil full of it. And this is something that we have to educate the, the, the citizens of our great country to understand. When it comes to your brain and your brain health, it matters to you every bit as much as does your physical health, and you are in charge. If it goes to hell, if you slide into Never Never Land, usually it's your own damn fault. And that's really the message of my book, and it's really something I think we'll talk about more later in this conversation. Thank you.